my name is Cindy Kamujis, and I'd like everyone to meet my daughter, Athena. At the age of 15, my daughter was raped and was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, dissociative identity disorder, depression, and also panic attacks and major rape trauma syndrome. That was the age of 15. During that time, she was insured under our family plan. We had great coverage. She received great mental health coverage to help her with her post-traumatic stress. Even though she was dealing with post-traumatic stress, she applied herself into photography and got a Fulbright scholarship into Washington, D.C. for photojournalism. While attending her first year at Washington, D.C., she was also offered heroin for the first time. My daughter is a dual-diagnosed post-traumatic stress heroin addict. The picture that she so shows that I show you here, she graduated from Kent State last year with honors under the influence of heroin, also dealing with post-traumatic stress. What we've had to deal with as a family, my daughter is now 27 years old. My husband started his own business several years ago, and when we applied to have my daughter added to our insurance policy, this was prior to the Affordable Act Care, she was denied coverage due to pre-existing conditions, that being post-traumatic stress, addiction, and mental health disorders. She then had three or four years without coverage that we were trying to keep her alive, keep her in treatment, and find different medically assisted treatment for my daughter and her heroin addiction in addition to the mental health disorders. I remember her at one point asking me, should I just get pregnant and have a baby so that I can get medical insurance? Because on top of being a heroin addict and also dealing with post-traumatic stress, my daughter also has hep C. What I'm pleased to state right now is after years of not being treated for her hepatitis C, She's been in counseling um, throughout, and we have tried medically assisted treatment, Suboxone, the patrol for the heroin. Um, finally, with the Medicaid expansion, she's been able to see a doctor, have her hep looked at, and I'm very pleased to say, with the medically um, the Medicaid expansion, the day after tomorrow, my daughter is going into treatment, where she will receive trauma counseling. The judge has ordered her one year, which is unheard of in the state of Ohio, one year of treatment, trauma counseling while in treatment, and when she gets out, her hepatitis can then be treated. All the preliminary work has been done based on the Medicaid expansion, and it's our hope that my daughter can get the treatment she needs for her hep C after receiving the treatment she so badly needs for her addiction and her mental health disorder. Back in July, I pled with a judge to save my daughter's life by giving her the adequate treatment and counseling she needed, and now I'm, I'm pleading for the Medicaid expansion to save my daughter's life as well. Thank you.